Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reacting to apparently there has been some floods and tsunamis wiping out homes in California. I didn't even know about this. This happened 13 days ago. This video is posted. But yeah, let's get into it. Curious to see what happened. California, USA, December 28, 2023. Okay. I didn't even know this happened. <laughs> This is in the city. Man. Whoa. What the hell is this? Wow. Giant waves pounded the coast of California on Thursday, causing chaos, flooding, closing beaches, Se and damaging a number way. of properties and buildings along the coast. Waves topping 30 feet broke onto shore south and down the state, prompting... 30 feet? That's like me three times. No, no, no. More than three times, actually. Stark warnings, such as one of the National Weather Service's Bay Area Division. This video says that this happened in uh, Vancouver, I think. I'm not sure. High surf warnings remain in effect for early Friday, the weather service said, and waves surpassing 40 feet are possible. The coastal unrest was caused by a series of storms, with hurricane force wind brewing over the Pacific Damn. Ocean, pushing big swells towards the state. Several videos circulating on social media show the chaos that occurred on West Cliff Drive in Santa Cruz, 70 miles south of the San Francisco. Did people die? I didn't even know that things like this happened in the USA. Imagine this was just before New Year. It seemed fitting that California could not escape 2023 without one final bout of extraordinary weather phenomena after yeah. a year. The delivered torrential rainstorms, blizzard in Southern California mountains, a rare tropical storm, and the re-emergence of an ancient lake. Further down the coast in Ventura, a beach town south of Santa Barbara, some resident was cleaning up Thursday afternoon after waves surged into residential streets and flooded some homes. The water carried yeah, sand and debris with it, uh... blocking storm drains. Several people said they were shocked by the unusual waterfront show. Wait, yeah. Damn, this is really the oh, oh, shit. Wow. Grab a mop, eh? Imagine being inside. Oh my god. And oh my god, is that the but your daughter's on open. In Stinson Beach, a coastal town about 20 miles north of the Golden Gate Bridge, the local fire department ordered the evacuation of several small roads near the beach because of high risk of damage of from waves and coastal oh. flooding. Residents and visitors what? were told to evacuate immediately for life safety, and a community center was converted into an evacuation point. What causes tsunamis? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Wow! Wow! Look at this! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my 
look at them just standing there seeing all the waves coming the owner of the sandpiper lodging at the beach said she noticed that the tide appeared very high on her morning drive to the hotel, but that her business was not affected because it was high enough above the shore. Thursday waves, she said, were nothing compared with the repeated battering of the tide. Wow. Officials in Santa Cruz County warned residents to prepare to evacuate near Seacliff State Beach, not far from where intense waves tore a house of its foundations in January. On Thursday, crews elsewhere cleared debris scattered onto the shoreline highway by... Occasionally, does the government help those people whose houses have been torn out and completely wiped out? Does the government help them rebuild or something like that? Or they just have to figure out something by themselves? What happened after a tsunami hit the city? The ocean and several car turnout near area beaches were closed. Some streets in the area were flooded. Damn. As residents clean up in Ventura, they were aware that more storm conditions and big waves were expected on Friday. The high surf in Northern California isn't unusual for this time of year, meteorologists say. In January, a series of atmospheric river storms caused high surf and this flooding just, that left yeah, beaches, ensembles, and destroyed sections of piers in the seaside town of Capitola and in Seacliff. During the current storm, the San Francisco Bay Area coast could see waves up to 40 feet in some locations. The National Weather Service issued a warning for residents to stay away from rocks, jetties, piers, and other waterside infrastructures. Affected oh. through Saturday, meteorologists say. A high surf advisory went into effect at 4 a.m. Thursday for Point Conception in Santa Barbara. Yeah, man, I didn't know that things like this happened in California. I've never heard about of a tsunami in California. And then I heard about the wildfires, I think, a few years ago, but I didn't know they also had tsunamis and floods and things like that. Sounds like California is not the best place to live in America. This is crazy.